Hello 3D printing friends! Today on the BV3D channel I have a question. Can you make your 3D printer a little quieter just by printing a part? Stick around and we'll find out right after this. I'm Brian and you are watching BV3D. This episode of the BV3D channel is brought to you in part by these awesome channel members. Hi, welcome back. Hey, if you're new here and you're wanting to learn about 3D printing, 3D modeling, and other 3D printing related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so today I want to find out if it's possible to make a 3D printer run a little quieter. Not by changing fans or swapping out components or anything like that, but just by printing a part and bolting it on. So here's the problem. A lot of budget FDM 3D printers are loud. Now there are two main sources of noise on modern FDM 3D printers. The motion system and the cooling system. Although on nearly all FDM 3D printers on the market today, they're using silent stepper motor drivers, so honestly the noisiest thing on the printers are the fans. And on a lot of these printers, the fans that use on the power supplies are on all the time. Now, some of them, notably Meanwell power supplies, only run the fans when they're under a heavier load, and they feel the need to cool themselves off, but most just run all the time. So I found this model on Thingiverse that says it can make the power supply fan quieter. This is the Fan Silencer Flowmaster by Grizzy17 for the Ender 3 or Neptune 2, but it should fit on pretty much any exposed power supply with a 60 millimeter fan. Let's print it out and see if it'll really work. Now just to get this printed fast and to get a time lapse, I sliced it in Bamboo Studio and printed it on my Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon. This model does need supports, so don't forget to turn those on when slicing. The time lapse is a little flickery because I had the curtains open and today was a partly cloudy day, so sorry about that. Okay, so now that I have this printed out and the supports removed, let's see if this thing actually works. As a test machine, I'm going to use a printer I can't tell you about yet, and as a result, the only part of it you're going to see is the power supply. Now, I'm using an actual sound level meter, and I'm measuring from a distance of one meter from the printer's power supply. So, here we go. Okay, it's clear that it's reducing the sound level coming out of the power supply. Without the Flowmaster, it's in the 43-ish decibel range, and with the Flowmaster, it's in the 38-ish decibel range. So it's reducing the noise level by about 5 decibels. It may not be a lot, but it's some, and that makes being around that printer a little more bearable. So since this is making a difference in reducing the sound output from the power supply, I'm going to install it on the printer, which I've got turned off and unplugged. And I'm going to do it without taking the power supply apart. Conceptually, this is simple. Remove the two screws holding the fan in place and then use those screws to hold this print in place on the outside of the power supply. And also still hold the fan in place. But if I removed both screws at the same time, the fan would just fall down inside the power supply. And then I'd have to take the power supply apart and I'm trying to avoid that. So what I did is remove one of the two screws and then put it back on going through the Flowmaster and into the fan. And when I put the Flowmaster on, I had it rotated out of the way just a little bit so I could still remove the other screw. Then I rotated it into its final position, being careful that the fan didn't rotate out of position, at least not much. And finally, the second screw went through the Flowmaster back into the fan and I made sure both of them were tight. Now to test. So there we go. With one simple printed part, we've managed to make the printer a little bit quieter. Like I said, it's not a lot quieter, but it's a start. And all it costs is some time and a little bit of filament. Of course, part of how this works is by reducing the fan's airflow somewhat. And depending on how hard your power supply has to work to run your printer, this may result in the power supply running hotter. If you decide you want to try this for yourself, there's a link to the model in the description. So if you install it, Monitor your power supply's temperature, and if it starts to get hotter than you think it should, it might be a good idea to remove the Flowmaster. 
I've had this on a couple of printers for a while without any problems, but your mileage may vary. Well, 3D printing friends, that's about all the time we have for this episode. And now that we're at the end, let's go print something cool. Hey, real quick before you go, I wanted to say thanks for being one of the super awesome people who sticks around all the way to the end, and thanks for all the likes, comments, and shares. And an especially big thanks to those who directly support what I do. You're all wonderful for doing that, and I really appreciate it. If you liked this episode, a thumbs up would be great, and if you'd like to help support the channel, check the description for ways you can do exactly that. And hey, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. It's absolutely free, and it's an excellent way to help keep me making these videos for you. Well, that's it for this one. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time here on the BV3D channel.